Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, it's great to be with you again uh, in your group, wherever uh, you are meeting and whenever you are meeting. Um, I'm encouraged uh, to hear good things about how the groups are going and how they are enjoying uh, this uh, series within our larger series in the Gospel of Matthew. And now that you are uh, probably settled a little bit and ready to dive into the questions and to the text, I think it's appropriate uh, before I talk about the text is I think it just open up by reading uh, the text that we talked about on Sunday. And so I want to read it for us and then we'll talk uh, briefly about um, what we discovered from this amazing passage of scripture. So let's read it. I'm going to go back to starting in verse 24 of chapter 10 and read down to verse 33. Jesus says this, a disciple is not above his teacher nor a servant above his master. It is enough for the disciples to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they malign those of his household? So, have no fear of them, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, say in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are more value, of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. Jesus is, as we know, continuing to give out instructions to his disciples as he sends them out. And in this text, at the beginning in verse 24 to 25, Jesus says, in effect, look, what I experience is what you will experience. I am the master of the house, or we might say the kingdom of heaven, and I have been called a nasty name, Beelzebub, which is quite literally Lord of the Flies, as you'll remember. It's uh, also a reference to Satan himself. Um, If I have been maligned this way or called names this way, you as my followers can expect the same or similar kinds of treatment. And he just simply says, it's enough that you're like me and you experience the same things that I experience. And then in the rest of the text, beginning in verse 26, he says, so have no fear of them. And we discovered from the sermon who the them are. The them are uh, those who persecute, those who are the wolves, those who um, hand brother over to, uh, to death Um, simply because they are Jesus' disciples. Have no fear of them. Three times, the main point of this text is have no fear, have no fear, have no fear of them. Or to put it positively, be courageous, be courageous, be courageous. And then the rest of the text is he's simply giving incentives for not being afraid or for being courageous. And as you're studying Though studying this text now together, I want you to discover what are, and remind yourselves what are these incentives? And then why should we not, in other words, why should we not fear those who can kill the body but cannot kill the soul? And why should we instead fear God who can do both? And how does that all relate to being courageous as his disciples and not fearing those um, who persecute. So 
explore this text together now and look at the incentives that Jesus gives for not being afraid and then find ways and have a discussion around what does this look like in the everyday stuff of our life together as a group and as you disperse from your group uh, later um, after you conclude your time together. God bless you all, love you, continue to press in, look at the words of scripture, pray through them, pray for one another, and remember to continue to pray to the Lord of the harvest um, to send out laborers into his harvest field. The harvest is always ready, you are those laborers as well, and we need not be afraid, but we can be of great courage. Find the incentives for that and enjoy your time together. God bless. We'll see you soon.